Hello everybody. Um, it's Monday afternoon and it's been a while since I've done uh, a, a Jeff episode and so I thought I'd take the opportunity to, um, while I was cooking um, and getting dinner ready for the kids, because Monday afternoons now I race out of work at three o'clock to pick up the kids, is to talk to you about a few things and a few questions that I've had recently. Um, my son is eating a cucumber <laughs> and what we've just been doing is cutting up a whole lot of fruit oh and vegetables. Okay, um, and um, we get delivery, and we get delivery of fruits at, at, at work as well by these guys called Sydney Fresh, and it comes straight from the markets um, at Sydney, um, Flemington Market. So just a bit of a plug for Sydney Fresh. Um, you order online and they deliver the most amazing fresh market, fresh fruit and veggies, um, which means that we don't have to go um, to, uh, to Coles and Woolies. Um, but over the weekend, I had a question about an avocado. Um, and um, are avocados safe uh, for animals? Now, they are for dogs and cats, as a general rule. Um, they're not for animals, birds and cattle, so you have to be a little bit careful. But certainly very high in protein um, and obviously very high in good oils for us as well. So there's no problem. So um, a little bit of a plug for the Bondi hipsters who have put avocados on the market. Um, they are um, a, a great food. Be careful of the pips though because pips um, can... Um, pips, is that right? Pips can be a problem um, and obviously we have taken an avocado pip out of a dog before so please keep them away um, and if they get a flavour for it they may end up um, uh, then going and licking in the garbage bin or something like that. Down here on the plate we have vegetables. Now I tend to suggest that pieces of carrot are actually quite good for animals to chew on, especially dogs like Labradors and Retrievers, you can give them a whole carrot. Um, they can't digest it though, so as a general rule, the, um, as a general rule, the, the vegetables that animals eat um, need, need to be ground up. So a piece of carrot, although very good as a chew toy, um, is not going to be of much nutrition, you need to blend it. And all vegetables are pretty good for animals um, to mix in, um, but um, it, is, it is important that you do blend it up um, and that you do make the vegetables um, fresh, obviously. Be very, very careful of onions. I don't actually have onions to show Very, very careful of onions um, because onions are toxic. Won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Uh, just a couple of other things that are going on over here. Um, in the Thermomix, we have, I don't know if you ever see that, let's see, oh, no, it's foaming up. Um, in the Thermomix, um, we have brown rice. Brown rice um, is a very, very good carbohydrate source. And if you cook up a kilo of brown rice um, and then mix it in with some meat, rice and veggie, meat, rice, veggies in a 30% mixture, it's a really good home cooked meal. We have changed our policy so there's no chicken. Um, so any chicken that you are going to, to give it to an animal, you must cook first, okay? So please please be, be, be aware that as VetHQ, we have changed our policy on that. Egg, um, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, I need to, I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but. Yummy egg! Egg, egg um, fried egg. Um, over here we have boiled eggs. My kids love them, uh, fantastic for animals. Um, really, really healthy, um, amazing protein source. They don't necessarily need to be cooked, but if you are gonna cook them, um, that's absolutely fine. Hope that helps, gives you a little bit of insight into cooking, um, a little bit of, um, uh, of, of meat, rice, veggies, keeping healthy um, and, uh, and making our animals as healthy as possible. Um, I hope um, you're all having a wonderful afternoon um, and I've been told that I have to look at who's watching and so uh, hi Judy, um, thanks, for, thanks for checking in, hope um, you're having fun. Um, Christy, I make a good housewife, I don't know if everyone gets to see this, um, but um, yes, I just don't have my apron on Christy, so next time I'll put my apron on for you. Um, have fun everybody, we'll see you all soon, bye now. Oh, yeah.